Hi, welcome to 5 Minutes or Less How To. My name is Kyle Johnson with Moontech Studios. 5 Minutes or Less is a series we've started here at Moontech Studios to discuss uh, audio and video game technology and software, sometimes together, sometimes separate. What we won't be doing is reviews. This isn't going to be a rating show. But what we're going to try to do is stuff into 5 Minutes or Less as much information about a piece of technology that we happen to be talking about. So today, with our first uh, video, we're going to be discussing the migration from Live 8 to Live 9. Let's get started. So the first thing I recommend you do is to bring up Live 9, and then bring up Live 8, which I'm going to do right now. And you might find, like I did, that you run into a little error. And it's basically just a rewire error. So you hit OK, and Live 8 will continue to come up anyway. Now, Ableton recommends on their website that you go to uh, preferences and point Live 9 to your Live 8 library which I've done here and that brings a lot of stuff over which I'm going to show you in a minute but the first thing that I noticed when I brought up Live 8 was that it matched my template and I was really happy about that the reason I want I think it's best to bring up Live 8 is because it's the easiest way to find any kind of packs or instruments or chains that you've uh, that you've created. Uh, when you bring when you add Live 8 to Live 9, the Live 8 library, excuse me, to Live 9, it brings in a folder called Live 8 library, and that includes a lot of the stuff that I had, not everything. Um, I'm not sure if it brought in everything that I've purchased from a third party or not. I haven't done that research. But it didn't bring in my personal stuff that I had scattered all throughout the uh, throughout my hard drives. But anyway, it stuffs everything into the samples folder here. It seems like it got everything from from third parties. It just didn't put it in a great place, like uh, this flat pack. So it kind of moves it out of these logical places and just stuffs them into this whole thing called samples. So that's something you're going to want to look out for. But the reason I thought it would be wise to bring up Live 8, if you already know where they are over here anyway, here's how we do it. We find one of them, right-click, show in Finder, Finder window pops up, grab all through. Oh, whoop, I got one more step i got to do, excuse me. Which is I then go into my user library location and presets, go to like audio effects here and add a new folder. There we go. And now if I go into Finder again, let me bring that up. I can grab these guys, drag them over there, and drop them in. And there they go. Oh, and look what I did. I put them in audio effects. What a nincompoop. Hold on. Let me uh, let's just drag this guy over here. Put it in there. There we go. Now my instrument racks where they're supposed to be instruments. Now another thing I wanted to show you is another way that you could search for these. If you go to Finder and you hit Apple F, Finder window comes up. And a this is kind of cool. Ableton Rack, right? And then look at this. It automatically says, well, do you want to just search the whole system for these kinds? And then I can just say Moon Tech. And you got to go to this Mac right here instead of desktop. And there they are. So I will just copy it over here to my... Tech racks, open it up just to make sure. And there we are. Now we've added the, now I've got a fourth one. But anyway, so that's a quick way to find your personal uh, racks that you've created and move them into Live 9 since it doesn't migrate them over automatically for you. And lastly, if you're like me, a little paranoid about the packs and if they migrated properly, I've included a link in the description to this file. It's a CSV file where I've listed all the packs that I own and that were installed in my version of Live 8. And I've listed the packs that Ableton has updated for Live 9. And uh, I've just put X's for things that migrated over properly, like I, I know that this one did, so I'll put an X in there. This over here, uh, this last column is same thing, different name. It's basically packs that they have for Live 9 that I think might be the same pack that I already had for Live 8. Thanks for watching.